We're here with the Mounts track coach, Jim Stevenson. Uh, the indoor season's here upon us, and we're going to do a little season preview. Coach, talk about first about your, your sprinters on the women's side. Well, we have a great group of returning sprinters. Um, our top girls are seniors now, so it's going to be a big year for them. Uh, they are the top, some of the top sprinters in the conference. We have returning the twins, Ashley and Ashley De Cruz. Um, they've all been rookies of the year in the conference. They're all uh, multiple conference winners and also hold a conference record in the 4x1. Uh, they'll be joined by senior Lily O2, who had a great season last year. She uh, capped off her career by winning the conference 400 meters um, and is also a member of the school record, uh, the conference record breaking relay. So I think our women's sprints are very strong this year and we're going to look to rely on them a lot during the indoor season. All right, let's switch over to the jump events. Uh, I know you have some good talent there as well. Yep, in the jumps, we, um, in the horizontal jumps, we have two uh, sophomores that were both able to score in both horizontal jumping events as freshmen, and they're training real well. Um, so we're looking to them to improve on that and, and break into the top three in the conference, which they have the ability to do. Um, they'll also be joined in the vertical jumps by Jess Huber, who's a, a junior um, pole vaulter, um, very good vaulter in the conference, and she's always in the running to score for us. So. Uh, we're looking towards Jess to, to lead the jumps as well for us. Let's switch gears a little bit and talk about the throwing events. And what do you have there? Throws, we've got the three M's. We've got Morgan Ostaszewski, we've got Madeline Middles, and uh, Maggie Pierce. Um, the throws is a tough event in the conference, and, and they hold their own. Um, they'll be led by Maggie Pierce, who just missed out on an ECAC qualifying mark in the weight. Um, Morgan Ostaszewski scored in the weight, and um, uh, Maddie Middles, who scored in the Hammond Outdoors in the conference. Um, so they'll basically be our uh, female throwers that will work for the team in the conference championships and throughout the season. Uh, then we got the, uh, the running events and the mid-distance distance runners. Uh, what are you looking for there? Yep, um, uh, for this meet in particular, for the first meet, uh, they're coming off a cross-country season. Um, so they'll be running odd events, but we uh, are led by a group of sophomores. Um, as freshmen last year, they really made their mark in the conference in cross country and during the indoor season. Um, all of them primarily in the mile running event. Um, that is uh, Megan Kinsella, Catherine Frankie, um, and um, Colleen Smith. Um, they've all scored in the mile. They are all capable of scoring in the 5,000 meters. Um, so they'll be ones to watch for on the program. All right, and last, uh, talk about the newcomers on the women's side. We're very excited about our newcomers. We have a small group, but a very good group. Uh, they'll be led by Alison Vanek, a pole vaulter. She was the uh, Penn Relays winner in the high school pole vault, and actually her performance would have been a school record for us and won the conference and also been a conference record. So we think she's going to have a, a really big freshman year for us indoors. Uh, she'll be joined by... Um, uh, Stephanie Joseph, who is a distance runner out of Quince Orchard High School. She's had a great cross-country season, so we're looking for her to join the uh, distance runners and, and score for us indoors. Um, Desiree Scott uh, will be a new addition to our great group of sprinters. Um, she's primarily a quarter miler, a very good quarter miler, but also runs a very strong half mile. So she has some versatility in moving up in the sprint events. And finally, we have Nicole Vanegas who um, has the potential uh, indoors to be a, a conference score in the 500 meters for us. All right, thanks, Coach. All right, Coach, let's switch gears to the men's side. Um, what do you think about some of your top performers in the uh, sprints and the running events? Well, I think the sprints is definitely going to be led by uh, senior Chad Brown. Uh, he had a great career last year. He uh, finished his outdoor conference championships being voted the uh, most outstanding track performer of the meet. Um, so he'll be... Uh, uh, want to look out for in the short sprints, the 60 meters and the, and the 200, and possibly he may run a 400 or a 4 by 400 meters. Um, so Chad Brown is definitely the person to look for, out for in the sprinting events for us. And that's, how about the uh, mid-distance distance events? Well, we, we have three, um, three runners we can definitely um, uh, focus on, look out for. Uh, first one is Dylan Bernard, um, coming off a great cross-country season again. He's the this is, was his third season in a row being named All-Conference in cross-country. Um, and he has the potential to uh, run very well in both the 3,000 and 5,000 meter events indoors um, and the longer distance events. In the shorter distance events, we have uh, Gigi Gibalisco, 
and Joe Oslak. Um, both of them have the potential to win the 800 meter event. Joe finished uh, second outdoors last year and Gigi was actually ranked number one indoors last year. Um, so those two runners are going to be going for a conference title and possibly battling each other. All right, how about in the uh, jump events? Jumping events, we have uh, a group of very talented athletes too. Um, Tom Fitzsimons is a uh, freshman, uh, junior All-American decathlete for us who can score in, uh, well, all four jumping events, uh, definitely the pole vault, the long jump, and the high jump. Um, he's going to be a big factor for us regionally and nationally this year in the multiple events too. He won the IC4 championship decathlon, so we think he'll do well in the indoor heptathlon. Um, uh, Quinton Huguli uh, was our uh, team MVP indoors. He uh, finished sixth in the Penn Relays Eastern Long Jump outdoors, um, came second in the long jump indoors, and third in the long jump indoors. So he's going to be a big point scorer, scorer, uh, point scorer for us in the horizontal jumps. And then Scott Rice, who's a sophomore, um, finished his year with a great performance in the pole vault. So we think we can, he can build on that. He's working very hard, and he should do very well in the indoor pole vault this year. And uh, what can we expect from the throwers this year? Well, the throwers will be led by uh, juniors uh, A.J. Coulson and, and John Fernandez. Um, they've been working real hard. They both have the potential to score in the events for us, the shot put and the weight throw, um, and lead our group of throwers uh, during the indoor conference meet. And uh, newcomers to look for? Well, we, we only have a very small amount of newcomers on the men's side, too. Uh, primarily, they're going to be led by uh, Gigi's younger brother, Jamie Gibalisco. He is a outdoor 400 meter hurdler and also an 800 meter runner. So we're going to be very strong in that 800 meter event and Gigi is going to enjoy running with his brother. Hopefully his brother and Gigi can push each other along and Joe along too. So um, Jamie Gibalisco is, is a um, freshman performer to look out for, for the men's uh, team. All right, coach. Thanks and good luck at Navy this week. Thank you.